Here's a question from Christy. Getting to source with the power of our thought. Hello, Simon and JP. Simon, I know you've said that if we want to break free from the reincarnation cycle when our physical bodies die, then we have to go through one of the holes in the grid in order to get to wherever we wish to. But what if when we die, we think ourselves to source? Are we going to be instantly teleported there? And will it still matter that the Earth is surrounded by the grid? The only concern I have is that the source might be a relative place based on personal belief system. But I hope I'm wrong and our soul somehow knows how to get there. Thank you. Right, okay. Um, it may just be a small point, but we don't use the word die because you don't die. <clears throat> Not the real you. Your physical body uh, stops working. So you don't die. One of the training mantras <clears throat> that I give people who uh, ask me these questions uh, say literally you have to decide whether you want to go back to the, the star family, your soul family, or whether you wish to go back to source. And you know, why don't we discuss what the difference is and what the advantages are, disadvantages, etc., etc. Then the mantra is simply this. Every morning when you wake up, let's say you want to go back to God, back to source. Then you say, I wish to return to source. And when you go to bed at night, the last thing you say is, I wish to return to source. And you might say that for 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years. One day your physical body is going to die. But you know what? You won't know you're dead. <laughs> you won't know it. You won't, you won't understand it. You won't accept it. You'll still be, you'll be awake. Um, but you'll suddenly realize that you cannot and motivate your physical body. Your physical body is not going to move anymore. But you can still think. You still know. You still recognize. And then, I have no idea of time here. What tends to happen is that the soul has to leave the body because it has to find another receptacle to contain it. So it will leave. And we've talked before about those that don't leave. You know, they, they, they cannot leave. But, but that's not the question here. So if you have, for the last 30 years, said last thing at night, I want to um, return to source, and in the morning I want to return to source, the first thing you say to yourself when you think, goodness me, my physical body is uh, no longer working, the first thing you say is, I want to go to source. So you will go on the route to source. The question is, maybe in, in that, that length of time ahead, there will be no uh, mesh net around the earth, but let's just say for argument's sake for the, for the question there is, if your intent and your belief is strong enough, you will find one of these gaps in the net and you will get through it. Now, you talked about a belief system. Um, you said, what, what if it's, you know, it's a belief system? Well, that's almost saying to me, what if source doesn't exist and we're just creating that? Um, no, the belief system was the Bible. The belief system was, was God. That is, that is a construct uh, in the sense of the, the creation of, of, of God through religion. That is your, your, your construct. Source is not a concept. Actually, it's a very real living entity. The great creator, there are other creators. <clears throat> it's not the only creator, but it is the great creator. And um, if you manage to get back in front of source... It's not like standing in front of the headmaster or the principal. Uh, what will happen simply, I believe, is that Source will say to you, where do you want to go now? Whereas if you say, I want to return to my star family or my soul family, that family will take you back and you'll come back into that family and you will find your place within that family and maybe you'll do another 10 million years there before you decide you want to go somewhere else. So people who go to Source do so because they have a question to ask or they wish to be judged and I'm being very careful with that word or they wish to uh, go somewhere else those that go to the star family do so because they're desperately sad they're missing their true family they never really loved it here on earth they love the planet but they don't love the rules and regulations and they just want to go back to their family that's what they want to do um, and of course the vast majority of people don't understand this don't care or don't seem to care um, and they, they think that when they get to 100 they're really happy because they've reached 100 and that's the end of their life and I, and I look at these people and I shake my head I say, you really believe all of this around you 
It's just so that you can do 100 years on this planet. You know, look at it all. Look at the complexity of it. This isn't a chance. Some overarching intelligence has created this. And you think you'd only want 100 years here? I don't want 100 years here. I mean, some people have had enough of it, frankly, and they want to be away. But there isn't another place like this anywhere. This is, this is a fantastic place. Every morning we wake up, we should say, fantastic, brilliant. What am I going to do today? I'm going to go out there and I'm going to do some good or I'm going to have some fun. You know, not, oh, God, it's Monday. How horrible. I don't want to get out of bed. You know, this is fantastic. If, you, if your physical body was dead, uh, you wouldn't be able to get out of bed. So aren't you lucky that you're alive? So there is a source. God, great creator. I don't think he's bothered about labels. Um, and it, it does exist. There is a, I call it the creational chamber. That's my own terminology for where we are made. <clears throat> this creational chamber. Um, so yeah, that's a good question. But I can assure you that that source is real. Thank you.